everyone this is traveling to prasad kupa welcome to my channel pharma world today's topic is alcoa principles let us understand the alcoa principles in a simple way the sequence of actions required to comply to alcoa principles in this video Let us see what is data and data integrity. Data is a combination of alphabets and numerical values that are generated during the activity being performed. Data is information generated during the activity. It is a process of collecting information for evaluation. It is a factual measurement used for evaluation or calculation data is a critical item for evaluation and taking a decision on the approval or rejection process of any product entire process of approval or rejection totally depends on the data evaluation if the data is not correct the results would lead to wrong decisions data is very important aspect of the entire activity so data is everything for final decision on quality of the product since data is considered for decision making the data generated should be honestly generated with sincerity and integrity honesty or integrity should be part of any product manufacturing this is more so if it is manufacturing of pharmaceuticals pharmaceuticals are life saving items any dishonesty in life saving drugs can lead to disaster we are manufacturing drugs for all humanity in general but specifically all of us and our family members use drugs very often so the tablet is revolving around our own homes only is it not are we not exposing our own family to risk so let us understand that the integrity should be as a habit in our routine activity while manufacturing drugs this is the detailed conceptual intent of data integrity falsification of data is punishable offense this is ultimate the punishment could be imprisonment too let us see what is metadata metadata is the data that is used to construct the context of the main data completely without metadata the final data is incomplete metadata describes about the data how data is generated who generated when and why generated are described as metadata see this example a numerical value of 200 is recorded on a qc worksheet it is not clear on the context of this numerical value if it is recorded as 200 mg product a batch number a123 qc012 and a signature with the date will explain the entire context of the data the details for the digit 200 recorded in qc record are described here so the metadata provides data tracking information that 200 mg of the product of batch number a123 is weighed on the analytical balance by the person signed and dated for a typical analysis let us learn more about alcoa in this a is attributable attributable this element will point out who performed the activity first thing is to identify the individual who performed the activity the person is responsible for the data recorded who can be identified by a typical signature of the person which is unique to each person this is one way of identifying the person 
This is the earlier method for identifications. Earlier, all transactions, including bank transactions, used to depend only on typical signature of the person for identification. Signature will be typical for each person who can be identified by unique user ID and password. In the electronic age, user ID and passwords are more effective. Who can be identified by biometric system also? Biometric identification with fingerprint or retina are still advanced methods. There should be a detailed policy on identification of the person by any one or combination of any of the above systems. The policy should have all these strategies for identification of the person for responding to the query A, the attributable. The second letter of Alcoa is legible. The data should be readable by all in the same way. This is important. This is the exact meaning of legible. It should not be like a handwritten prescription by some medical practitioners which can be read correctly only by the pharmacist. There should not be any ambiguity in the data written in the record. The numbers and letters should be clear so that everyone can read in the same way. The data should be recorded in indelible ink as prescribed in section 6.14 of ICH Q7. Never record any data with pencil. This shows the attitude of the person recording the data. The data written with a pencil can be changed easily without any trace of identification of the data change. Data should be recorded in spaces provided for such entry. Correct data should be written only in the spaces provided. No other unnecessary information should be written in the spaces provided. The font of alphanumerical data should be inadequate size to identify data elements easily. This is important. The numbers and letters recorded should be of adequate size that fits within the spaces provided clearly. Here one point to note is that the spaces should be designed comprehensively to accommodate complete data in the spaces provided. As a policy, it is recommended to use blue boy ballpoint pen for recording data. Guideline prescribes to write the, with uh, indelible ink, but uniformity and to get aesthetic appeal for the document, it may be decided as a company policy to use blue ballpoint pen for recording the data. Also, if the data must be presented for review for inspectors when requested, there may be several questions asked by inspectors for reasons if different colored inks are used for data recording. The third letter C is for contemporaneous. Contemporaneous means data recorded at the time of the activity being performed. This is the intent of the letter C, contemporaneous. No predate or post-date recording is permitted. Obviously, these two approaches cannot be considered as contemporaneous. It is necessary to restrict the ability to change any clock used for recording for all electronically operated and controlled systems. You should have all clocks synchronized. In one organization, it was found that after releasing a batch record, the QC chemist punched the out time as 18.05 hours to leave the laboratory for the day. But the out punch at the gate office recorded was 18 hours for the same QC chemist. There was a difference of 5 minutes between the QC lab time and the gate office time. If there is any activity that runs continuously for several hours, like reflexing, drying, temperature monitoring of reaction mass, 
contemporaneous means for every frequency data point, say half hour frequency, the data should be recorded. If the data is not recorded contemporaneously, such data for a continuous operation can be caught very easily by the reviewer. By looking at the pattern of the data, the inconsistency can be caught very easily. The fourth letter O is for original. Original means the data recorded first time on the official record. First time captured or recorded data is considered as original. This should be done on official document. Official means controlled and issued by designated authority, which is generally the QA department. All such records will be reconciled and archived for further review. All manufacturing data should be captured in writing on officially issued and controlled original record formats. This is the point. Numbered sets of blank forms have to be used for recording. After execution, the records should be reconciled. Sequential numbering is done to track the usage and confirm that there are no missing records. Paginated and stamped notebooks have to be used for recording in the registers. This is also done to have a total control on the usage of blank record formats. Recording on rough papers and later transcription into the original records is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. This leads to data integrity issues. The last letter of ALCOVA A is for accurate. Accurate means the correct, valid and true reliable data. This is the exact intent of the word accurate. Any changes should be traceable. This should be done as prescribed in section 6.14 of ICH Q7. Never hide the error. Corrections to the error are acceptable. The corrected and revised data is acceptable. No fabricated data, no assumptions. Fabrication of data is equivalent to falsification of data. Data should be complete with all metadata for constructing the context of data. Data without metadata is incomplete and not acceptable. We discussed in earlier fifth slide on metadata. Data generated using qualified and calibrated equipment. Obviously, the data will be accurate when the equipment is qualified and calibrated for the purpose and fit for use. Access restricted generated data for electronic equipment. For all electronic equipment, access controlled data is considered integrate and accurate. Access controls are done by the user ID and password. So, Alcoa is a kind word with all these attributes of data. Let us move on more. Let us see what is Alcoa Plus. We now clearly know about Alcoa. Then what is Alcoa Plus? There are other four attributes for this stage Alcoa Plus. Let us see. Complete means the data should be complete with all necessary supporting. Supporting means it includes all raw data, monitoring charts, chromatograms, spectra, calculations, etc. Data should have all necessary calculations, decisions on the output, activity, pass, fail, identifying the person who carried out the activity. Finally, a decision on 
pass or fail should be a part of the complete attribute. Sequentially arranged to get meaningful outcome. All data should be sequentially linked with other documents of concern from start to finish. Indexed, connecting all raw data, including chromatograms, spectra, photographs, etc. It is recommended to have the index with these things archived for easy reference for any review by customers or regulators. If the data is complete and archived in an indexed way, it is easier to review by the reviewer. Also, it reflects the attitude of the RIT. The second attribute of Alcoa Plus is consistent. That means uniformity in data generation. The alpha numerical data should be recorded in the same way by all. Example, one may be written in several ways as shown in this example. Seven also may be written differently as shown in this example. Try to use only one format. The eight format may be written as DD, MM, YY, YY consistently all over wherever necessary. Date format changes from one country to the other. So it should be clear. For example, today is 10th January 2023. We write as 10 oblique 01. In some countries, say in USA, it is written as 01 by 10. This is confusing. You should have a definite format for consistency. Use single color indelible ink pen, preferably blue. Use of same colored ink is also a part of consistency in data recording. While in a nice indexed manner, the index will help to find out easily what is where. The third attribute of Alcoa Plus is enduring. Data should be durable and lasting for long time. Different types of data should be stored for different periods. Some may be preserved for quite long and some up to product life cycle period. Records should be intact with information for the defined period as per document archival system as per section 6.12 and 6.13 of ICH Q7. These two sections prescribe important information on archival of several types of documents. If there are any recording done using thermal printer, the document should be photocopied and filed as objective evidence. This is important. All thermal paper printed data must be photocopied and filed as evidence. Otherwise, thermal print data will get erased after a few days. Some friability test apparatus, UV visible spectrophotometers, balances may have thermal printers. So, this care should be taken for data durability. All QC TLC plates should be photographed under UV chamber light to capture the spots and filed as objective evidence. The quality of the photocopy is such that the data is clearly articulatable. This is important. The photocopy should have clear picture of the original printout. Next attribute of Alcoa Plus is available. Document should be readily available for review. So, Document should be available within a reasonable time. The reviewer should not get a doubt on the availability of the requested document. All GMP documents must be indexed and archived in a secure place with access controls. The system is like indexing system in a library. Each book is classified, numbered and arranged in a systematic way so that it can be traced very easily. 
electronic data storage should be securely done and archived so that the data can be retrieved for review if requested by the customers or regulatory agencies. All electronic data is stored and secured for easy retrieval. Duplicate copy of the electronic data must be securely archived at a different but easily accessible location as part of disaster management. This is important. Copy of electronic data may be stored at different secured location as a part of disaster management. Aritrail. Aritrail is answer for trail of who, what, when and why questions of data generated. Let us understand what is Aritrail. Many get confused with the similar sounding words trail and trail. Trail is a connection among several objects or items. What are the connections in the trail? They are who, what, when and why. If there are justifiable answers to these queries, your data passes to the requirements of RE trail. RE trail could be manual or electronic. Manual operated equipment should have data on logbooks to answer the who, what, when and why. This is acceptable RE trail compliance. So, it should be understood that the RE trail compliance requirement is not only for electronic equipments like HPLC or GC or any such equipments. Manual operated equipments should comply to the requirements through a controlled paginated logbook. Manual RE trail could be achieved by recording the data on controlled paginated notebooks to get answers for trail of who, what, when and why. Electronic RE trail could be through log browsers of online data servers. So online servers have provision for RE trail on the log browser. Let us see the compliance system. Data that is used to make decisions on release of the product should include review of audit trail of the data before the batch is released to the market. So the compliance system should include review of audit trail compliance for establishing compliance to GMP. Any deviations should be addressed, investigated as per section 2.16 of ICHQ7. Even section 6.53 should also be considered for any investigations. I hope that the intent of Alcoa and Alcoa Plus is understood well. Check your system whether or not all these aspects are addressed in your product release procedures for audit trail compliance thanks for watching for more videos please do subscribe like and share thank you